Welcome to the Coaster Crusaders. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. In this new series, we will be exploring the over 130 years of Lagoon Park history. New episodes will be releasing over the coming weeks, so stay tuned. And without further ado, here is Lagoon Park History, Episode 1. In the late 19th century, many resorts started to spring up around the Great Salt Lake. These include the Saltaire, Garfield, and Black Rock Resorts, to name a few. In 1886, another one of these bathing resorts opened under the name Lake Park by a man named Simon Bamberger. Bamberger built a separate railroad line that ran from the Denver and Rio Grande Railroad out to his park. It is very difficult to pinpoint the exact location of Lake Park due to the changing elevations of the Great Salt Lake. While the park mainly served as a bathing resort, it had many other attractions for guests to experience. Dancing, boating, a carousel pulled by a horse, target shooting, and roller skating were included along with swimming in the 50 cent admission price. The resort also had cottages that could be rented over the summer, a Victorian style hotel, cabins along the beach, and a restaurant. Lake Park also had many shaded picnic houses. At its peak, Lake Park was considered the fun spot of Utah, much like how Lagoon is today. However, nine years later, the resort was in trouble. The continued decreasing level of the Great Salt Lake made it difficult for the resort to continue operating. Swimmers had to walk a great distance to reach the water, and the smell and color of the mud where the water used to be was also very off-putting. Owner Simon Bamberger had to make a decision, let Lake Park stay in its current condition and rot or move to a new location. <laughs> 